Tiga penalti dihadiahkan S. Logis Warren mewarnai aksi final tidak dapat tidak. Beberapa keputusan pengadil itu turut menjadi topik dan reaksi pasca perlawanan. Pengendali Terunggaru FC, TFC, Tommy Slav Stambakna percaya beberapa lagi kad kuning patut dilayangkan kepada pertahanan JDT sambil membayangkan penggunaan sistem video bantuan pengadil VAR adalah penyelesaian terbaik merujuk beberapa kontroversi yang tercetus dalam perlawanan di Stadium Nasional Bukit Jalil semalam. You know, maybe in future, maybe the idea is good for maybe to install a VAR system because of because two penalty, three penalty, three penalty to referee go to see and change, check that. Uh, I can complain about few situation when uh, my players, Ivan or, or some other give the pass and uh, we all follow the ball, but I saw the, you know, so many strong challenges. Uh, even an injury uh, shoot in the in the head, and I think maybe it can be few yellow card more for defender of GDT. But okay, I don't want to talk too much about referee. We know what's that. Pengendali kelahiran Croatia itu bagaimanapun berpuas hati dengan prestasi anak buahnya dalam 90 minit perlawanan walaupun akhirnya terpaksa akur dengan kekalahan. Nada berbeza dari Camp JDT. Ketua jurulatihnya Estaban Skolari enggan menjadikan keputusan pengadil sebagai subjek pertikaian namun mengakui aksi bertemu TFC adalah perlawanan sukar yang terpaksa diharungi anak buahnya. It was a difficult final. It was a tough game because Terengganu is a team that improved a lot since the beginning when we played the first game with them and, and now it's a team that play much better and very strong football, defensively especially. And it was, uh, for me, it was um, a courage, the courage from the players to play the football they played today in a pitch that was in a very bad condition. Now we can say it because it's not an excuse. Skoleri yang menggantikan Hector Bidoglio Dezember tahun lalu turut menghadiahkan kemenangan menjulang Piala Malaysia kepada pemilik klub Tunku Mahkota Johor TMJ, Tunku Ismail Sultan Ibrahim yang menjadi tulang belakang deretan kejayaan pasukan dari selatan tanah air itu. Untuk rekod, ia merupakan kali keempat Harimau Selatan menjulang Piala Malaysia selepas menjuarai kejohanan antara tertua Asia itu pada 2017, 2019 dan 2022.